Good morning, folks. You guys hit the like challenge by 9 a.m. yesterday. Should have asked for 10,000. Anyway, our pre-order is now available as promised, but we've got a lot to tackle today, starting with our star at spaceweathernews.com. And we find the coronal hole turned towards the limb. Another coronal hole between the incoming active regions. The bright active regions themselves are dominating the field of view, however. Crackling in the umbral magnetic fields has the X-ray flare index up into nearly C-class background range. More flaring is possible at the sunspot groups, but thus far, it's minor. That departed coronal hole just had its solar wind arrive at Earth. Phi angle in blue flipped and was followed by a rise in plasma density, orange, that dropped out when the faster stream arrived, in purple. The geomagnetic conditions are still relatively quiet, but remember we've got little CMEs likely riding up the trailing edge of that stream, so we'll watch for density jolts in the next two days. Quick stop in Chile next and they're finding microbes in the Atacama Desert. They're subject to almost as little water access as parts of Mars, and they say that since Mars has ice locked just below the surface, the samples taken from Atacama tell them that there could be living bacteria there now, still surviving from back when the planet had an atmosphere and an ocean. Up next it's Hubble, and they are going for a new legacy survey in ultraviolet. Veteran observers, if you recall how research gold has been mined stacking Hubble images, this is a more extreme version and includes major swaths of the sky, also major ranges of mass, from megastars to low mass output spheres. One of the things this should do is de-brighten heavily starred lines of sight such that instead of overlapping brightness, we get specific point returns. Folks, I have no immediate comment on the politics ongoing right now, but nature has totally forgot they are a science journal over the last month. This one right here is not so subtly referencing climate change, saying they need to better communicate facts, science, and the truth. Well, the fact is that their science is shattering into shambles. The fact is that there are thousands of pieces of science that tell a different story, one that still shuns pollution but recognizes the truth of what's been left out of the equations. The fact is that their science is biased, full of uncertainty and error propagation, and that's the truth. If you click our name or go to suspiciousobservers.org, you can watch an entire playlist on the facts, science, and truth of climate change. In that vein today, we're looking at how glaciers calve. Within the examination, in addition to the animations, there is reference to the ice melt of warmer waters. This is one of the things in the climate realm we discuss regularly. The heat currents, the overturning circulation, and the salinity differentials are all being jacked, triggering the cooling patterns Earth has in store waiting for a heat that thinks it can run roughshod over the planet. While that cold fresh water is added, we also can't forget that in between the warming and the eventual cooling triggers, we do expect major calving tsunamis from the poles when larger pieces break off. Folks, the stories of the sun standing still in the sky come opposite in the world from the story of the long night. Quarter jaunts around to find the stories of the sun rising or setting in the wrong place, and when they say the stars were thrown from the sky. Do you really think ancient people mistook meteors for the stable points of light up there? The sky was the one thing they knew. They are describing the visuals above when the earth tilts. What helps drive the massive waves and inundation of the sea described in Christianity, Hinduism, the Buddhist Sermon of the Seven Suns, Zoroastrianism, Mormonism, Islam, all say the waves come. All describe strange action in the heavens above and all describe the sun playing a major role in the disaster. In addition to all of the geology, astrophysics, plasma physics, and mathematical patterns you know are going to be in here, the next end of the world will look at myth and religion too. See the amazing similarities between them and how they seem to match exactly the evidence of our expectations of the mechanisms about to play out. We greatly appreciate your support. Pre-order today at otf.cells.com. Shipping is expected early 2021. We've got your wind maps and shots of our star to close, and of course, we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.